Well wishes have been pouring in from around the world for Britain's Princess of Wales after she revealed she has been diagnosed with cancer and has started treatment. In a video message released Friday, Catherine said the cancer was discovered after she had abdominal surgery in late January. The news follows weeks of wild speculations about her absence from public life. Tourists outside London's Buckingham Palace are still digesting the news of Kate Middleton's cancer diagnosis. Well, I actually got the notification of her diagnosis as I was just standing outside of the palace. It's quite a shock, yeah. She's so young and to have such uh, news that you are diagnosed with cancer, that must be a real shock to the family. I feel like with all the news about Kate, like disappearance and her not being here, I feel like that's them juggling how, how to balance telling the public, but also privately and making sure they do it in their own terms. So I think it's just a massive challenge, but I think they understand that we want to know the information and that people care and want to know. So I think it's just, it's hard, but they're doing a good job. The announcement was front page news across Britain and follows weeks of speculation about the whereabouts and well-being of the 42-year-old princess. Her video message to the public was meant to lay the rumors to rest. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London. And at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. She described the diagnosis as a huge shock, thanked the public for their support, and asked for privacy for her and her family. Several world leaders shared messages of support, including U.S. President Joe Biden, France's Emmanuel Macron, and Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Kate Middleton's last public appearance was on Christmas Day. Kensington Palace later revealed she'd undergone planned abdominal surgery in mid-January. The reason was not disclosed to the public, and as the days drew into weeks, the rumor mill swirled. A photo of a smiling Kate and her family released earlier this month to quell concern backfired when it was revealed the photo had been doctored in several areas, raising even more questions about her health. I would hope it would put the speculation to rest. Um, in, in Britain, we have very strict privacy laws on, on health matters. And so, it, as we've seen in previous eras, the, the Queen and the, uh, Prince Philip didn't give a running commentary about their health. Um, and so it's very unusual for both the King and the Princess of Wales to very bravely, I think, announce that they've got cancer. In February, King Charles announced his own cancer diagnosis. Like the King, Catherine didn't specify what kind of cancer she has. It's not clear when either will return to full public duties. Let's get more on the story from DW correspondent Charlotte Chelsea Pill, who joins us now from London. Hello, Charlotte. Uh, there was a lot of speculation in recent weeks surrounding the public absence of the Princess of Wales. Why did we hear from her now? Well, this news is something that very few were expecting here. As you heard in that video message, we know that she underwent a major abdominal surgery back in January, but it was understood at the time that uh, her condition was not cancerous. We're hearing now that that uh, operation later revealed uh, that cancer had been present and she is in the early stages of preventative chemotherapy. So a big shock to people here. Now, of of course, the wider context to all of this is there has been an enormous amount of speculation about her well-being. The fact that uh, it has taken some time for the statement to come forward has really left a vacuum for uh, unprecedented amounts of speculation online. Kate Spiracies, uh, it's been coined. The, the rumor mill has been spinning. That's something that has been quite damaging for the royal family. But she alluded to, in her to, in her voice message to the fact that the timing uh, was uh, uh, dictated or was uh, that her children were uh, what were in the forefront of her mind when it came to the timing of making this announcement public. It's understood that she'd wanted to speak to them first, make it clear to them, as she says in her, goes on to say in her visit, uh, video message, that she's going to be okay before... Uh, making this announcement public and all the repercussions that, that come with that. 
Right. What does the diagnosis now mean for the royal family? Well, first and foremost, as I alluded to, this is a family. So they will have the thoughts, uh, they will have their three young children in the forefront of their minds when dealing with this. But as, a, uh, as an institution, uh, this is enormously significant. Keep in mind that King Charles himself is currently undergoing treatment for cancer as well. In fact, that announcement was made public on the same day it was announced that uh, Kate had undergone this uh, abdominal surgery. Uh, so what you have is two major members of the royal family who are going to be absent from public engagements. We don't know how long for. What you can expect to see, therefore, is, is William playing a much, much bigger role, holding forth both at home and in public as well. So as Kate said in her video message, a tremendously difficult period for the royal family. Right. DW reporter Charlotte Chelsea Pill in London. Thank you.